where did you really get the biggest inspiration? I mean, pretty much everything you just said, like just also just being there on set and just because with with Shia, although it's not technically, I'm not technically playing Shia in a way. Um, I'm kind of playing my own version of uh, Otis, who went through the same journey as Shia. Um, but just honestly, just being around him and and having that, because um, obviously the father son relationship had to be so you know tight and, and bonded because obviously it, those scenes have to be you know fluid and the, there can't be any you know awkwardness in it. Um, so just bonding with Shia and, and becoming really close to him really helped me because. Um, you know, on set when he wasn't, you know, totally interacting with me, you know, as playing playing my father, I kind of missed being, you know, having Shia as a friend, and that kind of really helped me, um, you know, get into the character of like wanting wanting Shia to love me, but he wasn't, and so that, that really kind of. <laughs> I mean, obviously not on set it was cool, but on, like in the scenes. <laughs> So, uh, but I mean, Alma was amazing as well, and Lucas, I mean, me and Lucas hung out so much, and, and I mean, I personally, I see a lot of similarities because I'm a consequence of being around him so much, and, and just, you know, creating the character together, was, was you know, awesome. really helped me. <laughs> When I first sent it to Alma, she um, she was like, uh, "Some of this is too smart." <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. yeah, that was like the first drafts. <laughs> that was like the only real dilemma. Other than that, shit was pretty, pretty, pretty easy to get to. Yeah, you mean it's all, it's all yeah he was talking about his character. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just I, I wrote him really like some some of the shit was too smart, like <laughs> like like whippersnapper jokes that were just like too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Also, I feel like from my perspective, I uh, when I got the script at first, I thought that I, I kind of I had I think a lot more empathy and love for Otis than Shia did, hmm. <laughs> um, and I think I I tried you know um, have him show I want to show a lot more love to Otis in the script. I was very very focused, I think, from the start um, on really um, inhibiting his father, kind of d discovering, bringing his father to life, playing that character. He was a lot less, uh, you know, interested in Otis, I would say. For sure. <laughs> he didn't even come to the shooting days when, uh, you know, when Lucas was filming, and he, w he, didn't, he wanted us to bring Otis to life, he didn't want to you know, dived into that in, in that kind of way, and he, he was, he really wanted to like enter it from, from that, from a character that he's playing, and uh, so that was like, I think one of the bigger challenges is just like finding Otis, and we kind of did that with Lucas and Noah, you know? Um, so that was, that was a challenge for us. Cool. Here's a question back there. Have you seen Alma's other stuff? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess like, for me that's uh, probably one of the easiest uh, ways to speak is actually with no words. <laughs> um, much, much easier for me. I was lucky to have Shia to be such a brilliant writer because uh, I, I speak much better in dance <laughs> and uh, mime and all of that. Um, but uh, really, it was it was about 
sort of exploring this connection that is, you know, that Otis has living with the father who is a clown and is a mime. And both of them, you know, Twigs herself is just so brilliant in terms of uh, being, you know, that character that's both a whore and a mother, which we usually see them like kind of split into two in most films. And uh, really being somebody that lives with, with so much pain and sadness and they both kind of find each other as two children and have an opportunity to play, have an opportunity to be playful and, and build a world of their own that is uh, beyond words and beyond time. Uh, so that was kind of, I think, the idea. And also, they just had such good chemistry, you know, from the first day we kind of rehearsed the, the mind stuff. Do you want to talk about this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I mean, we, we had like a whole uh, two hours or something with this 